All right, it's time for us to take a look at the newspaper headlines. I've got Mike here with me to do justice to that. And then, of course, uh, I will let you know what to expect in the news this morning. We'll begin from the Punch newspaper. Mike, you have that. Oh, oh uh, not at the moment. Is there anyone that you okay, have? Okay, let, let, me, let me start with the Punch newspaper. Okay, all right, please. Now, the Punch newspaper has this. FG OK's allowance for senior staff, labor as at that time, at the time of the filing the report, I'm sure, may suspend strike. Wage award now for all cadres of workers, says Bajabia Mila. VAT on diesel waived for six months, and uh, federal government increases allowances to 25,000 naira. Now, I, I must apologize. It does seem like I have um, uh, the newspaper for yesterday instead. So let me just uh, push it straight to today's newspaper. Okay, all right. Yes, for so punch. Now, the, the big one here is six month allowance. Uh, federal government to spend 315 billion naira. Labor suspends strike for 30 days. Labor demands wage award for state, local government, private sector workers. 1.5 million federal workers to benefit from government's provisional wage award. Still on the front page of the Punch newspaper for today, 33 fear killed in illegal rivers refinery explosion. Bribe taking policemen returned to Lagos Road, extort 25,000 naira from driver. TAJ Bank gross earnings to gross gross earnings to 227 billion naira. Up here we see uh, Chicago Varsity releases Tinubu's record to Atiku. Bribery, UK court restricts the Azani's movement, EFCC begins extradition. And finally, marketers disagree with Tinubu tax advisor on refinery sale. All of these stories you can catch in the Punch newspaper today. Which one catches yeah, your so, fancy? Uh, a number of people have been uh, speaking about uh, Desiani, Maduk, uh, uh, Desiani's appearance mm -hmm, uh, in mm -hmm. court in the UK yesterday. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the second time, of course, remember the first one majorly had to be the former governor of uh, mm -hmm, Delta State, mm -hmm. uh, James Ibori. Uh, so if we can't do things for ourselves, then maybe the people that have environments that, that work mm. will do it for us. Mm. And, I, and it, it made a lot of people should I say happy mm. that uh, justice, the process of yeah. justice is being, you know, is, is, is on the road because, uh, I mean, over here it would have been a problem, mm -hmm. but if people do things, then they should be made to be responsible for what... For their actions, yes. You know, so that one, that one really uh, caused some sort of buzz on social media yesterday. Mm -hmm. That's talking about the case concerning right. uh, Desiani. So what paper do you have now? Okay, all right. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the nation. Okay. Uh, the nation here. Federal government votes 100 billion naira for high capacity CNG buses. Uh, when I saw the the way people are using the red and blue line in Lagos, mm -hmm. that's when I knew that okay, these buses could really do something mm -hmm. because uh, the the amount of people that are using it is mm -hmm. quite much. I thought those routes were not. Really popular, uh, popular. you'd be amazed because many of them have bad roads too. So, oh, yeah, let's not even start. I, mm. I, while we're talking about this, I, I just got a message from a, a very dear friend who said uh, yesterday night uh, at 12 midnight she had an accident. And oh, that was my goodness, the road that she normally plows, she got into uh, uh, the, a ditch. A wow, ditch that she didn't that it just is like it came out of nowhere. This is a road she. She normally plows. I'm still trying to find out, hoping she was okay and everything, but I the really cars, hope she the tires, is. damaged and all of that. Wow. And, uh, uh, you know, and this was midnight. That expense I'm, I'm in this economy. To, you know, to sort of, so, so when you mention roads and why people would want to p apply these routes and all of that, I think about Badagri, how long we've spoken about it. Mm -hmm. We talk mm -hmm. about Festac here mm -hmm. a number of times. When I, mm -hmm. I get into Festac in some places, and it seems like a ghost village on some roads, and I'm mm -hmm. like, how did Festac get this bad? Festac was the pride of Lagos at mm. a particular point. Mm. It was a village that was used for this particular yeah. celebration of culture. So you can't blame people rushing on that train because uh, not only you do know, you save time, you avoid accidents and stuff, and it's quite affordable all right. as well. Uh, something else here. Tinubu graduated from CSU in 1979, CSU school. Mm. University releases documents to Atiku. We can only hope that puts an end to all that drama. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Uh, 18 burned to death in Rivers Illegal Refinery Fire. Obaseke inaugurates 34 SSAs and 152 SAs. Ah, oh my, this one, eh? It, 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 I, I, you know, I would, I would just round up the nation on this one. Look, not only, we really do have to reduce the cost of governance. How do you have exactly. senior special advisors? What are they advising you on? Mm. 34 and 152. Hmm. 
I, I think it was, it was um, and this is at state level. At federal level, maybe you can say, okay, there's a whole lot of ground to cover. To cover. But at state level, that means a total of, from what you can see here, this is uh, 176. Mm. It's called the compensation plan. Let, let's six special advisors. <laughs> what are they advising you on? Maybe what? On different areas, and then they are mo they, yes, they have better touch with the people, so they know what the people want. Let's take a look at the Guardian newspaper. The Guardian newspaper has this: Labour accepts federal government's proposals, suspends strike for thirty days, Fun uh, food fair prices uh, spike, put Nigerians under pressure. Uh, that, I dare say, is no news. HND, much ado about conversion. 650,000 Naira, top-up program. Tribunal sacks Sule declares Oni Bugadu winner of Nasarawa poll. Cooking gas scarcity looms as price hits 1,000 Naira per kilogram. EFCC obtains arrest warrant on Dezani, begins extradition plan. Up here, we see non-interest banking, TAJ Bank leads in Tier 1 Capital, PBT. And uh, finally, at the platform, Lumumba Oyedele others underscore how to develop Nigeria. Now, all of these stories you can find in the Guardian newspaper uh, this morning. The food mm. fair prices spike. Well, mm. Nigerians really are under pressure to survive even. Uh, like, uh, makes me think of that song by Kimono, Under yeah. Pressure. <laughs> Uh, it's 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 uh, been quite something lately. You know, it's been well, quite you, something. You want to start talking about throwback songs now, songs you can remember. Uh, we wish that pressure that time. <laughs> it's enjoyment for us now. <laughs> it's, it's, you can laugh. <laughs> you, you, you know there was a time somebody was complaining. Gary woke up one hey, era, and it one was just protest. Yeah. Now just imagine how much Gary is. You want to get a paint. It's about one thousand seven hundred now, and you just. Uh, 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 <laughs> In fact, you know, it, it, we, we, we the can't... The pressure that time is over, is, it will be more than enjoyment now. <laughs> Think about it, Mary. The things they were complaining about in the 80s. And, you, to... and you know, the purchasing power isn't any better. That's the thing. It, it, I dare say it's worse. People are barely managing to survive. So many people prefer buying food outside now than even cooking because you have to consider... Uh, you know, the price of uh, food stuff. We're not talking about food stuff. Right? We'll get to the last paper, but talking about food stuff, mm. MM should be getting set to ensure that our food is getting ready. We don't In fact, hear, we don't want to hear anything, to hear anything. Breakfast yeah, must MM. be served. Yeah. So, Are you taking a look at the Vanguard? Okay. The, yeah. Uh, we've taken Guardian. Let's okay. take a look so, at Daily okay. Trust, yeah? Okay. 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 Labor suspense plan strike for 30 days. So that means that after 30 days, there's going to be a review yeah. of their demands. Yeah. Demand. To see whether the uh, government has heeded. Better. Uh, there, uh, we can see uh, this is a picture story here mm. of uh, bond vehicles and motorbikes during an attack carried out by suspected members of the indigenous people of Biafra. I pop to enforce it at home order at uh, Ezambo Junction of uh, uh, local government area in, of the state here yesterday. Uh, I know that uh, the armed forces have said that they would uh, do what they can to ensure that there's peace in this place and that there is no sit at mm. home mm -hmm. again as it were. Mm. Uh, Daisy Ani appears in the UK court was talking about that. Uh, basically all these uh, uh, headlines here are the ones that we've been we've taken before. I'm trying to see if there's anything new here. Uh, no, I believe there, there isn't. Um, okay. all right. Besides... That's it. That's, uh, it. that's, it. that's, yeah. that uh, that, that's about it though. That's about that's it. it. You know what, at this point uh, that food we've been talking about is, is, is currently replaying in my head. So. Okay. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to join MM in the kitchen.